Hey everybody, this is Natalie Blazin. I wanted to do another YouTube tutorial today. I wanted to do an unboxing and I wanted to unbox the Gravity MS23 microphone stand with a circular base plate. As all music nerds know, sometimes we unbox things before we get to showing you, the viewers, what we're doing. So unfortunately, I have already unboxed it. But I'm going to show you what I have actually done with the microphone stand. Now this all came about just because I was trying to find this. This was my guitar string winder. I was going to restring my guitar today and that didn't kind of work out because I had this um, microphone stand that I really wanted to set up and that caught my eye instead and so I thought I'll do that. So. Without further interruptions, let's get on it. Firstly, so I will just say that this here, as you can see, it's got Facebook, YouTube, um, and there is a blog. Now, I should hopefully be able to put those in the description down the bottom, so just have a look down there, um, and there should be a couple of links to it. I'm loving this microphone stand so far, and the reason I am saying that I do love this microphone stand is because it's actually going um, to be my new vocal microphone stand. So I've actually placed a screen on it and I've also placed my Shure mic and I'll actually show you that set up in a minute. What I wanted to say was that this gravity stand has got a great base plate. Now the base plate of the stand is quite heavy and it takes quite a bit to knock it around. Now I'm going to show you what I had previously and why I am loving the new gravity. So before we get on to this, let me just show you my old stand. Okay, so you probably think there's nothing too wrong with this old stand. Well, actually there is. This one I was using at a gig and somebody fell over this music stand. Now, I'm gonna just say, anytime you want to use a stand for um, a professional performance in front of people, do not use one of these unless you are the lead singer and you're not going to be doing anything else but maybe using a shaker or anything like that. If you are going to be using a stand um, to play a microphone, a bass guitar, and you're also going to be singing, use one that has the tripod legs. And the reason I say that is because you can't get close enough to the microphone stand if you're using one with this base plate. Okay, so somebody did actually fall over this at um, one of my gigs. So when I put it down, if you can see this, it kind of moves around. Now that's in the base plate. There's no way that I'm able to screw this base plate any any further than it than it can go right now. It was fixed by my friend Joe's brother. Saying that, however, it wasn't able to hold the vocal microphone and the pop screen and also the the back screen, the vocal booth. So I. I'm going to be giving this one the flick, unfortunately. So I'll probably just salvage some of the parts off it and throw the rest out. Or I might just use the base plate as a doorstop. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you my new gravity microphone stand. So it's the MS23 microphone stand with a circular base plate. Now, so far I can say it is actually like 100% the best thing I ever did was go and buy this. I went and bought it from DJ City. It didn't cost the earth. I don't get up in front of audiences and generally play um, a, you know, a lot of guitar or anything like that. I am a DJ. However, when I'm at home and I need to use some of my studio equipment, this is going to be where I do vocals. So um, the great thing about this is you can make it go up and down. Now this is my old one. This goes up and down. However, this also didn't have the range um, and the sturdiness that the gravity has. Let me grab the gravity and we can have a look at that next. Okay, people, I don't know if you can see all of this, but I have in my hands the Gravity MS23 with the um, stand, the circular base stand. You get instructions. Now, the instructions are definitely in English, and then on the back they are in... Anyway, so it comes with this. Instructions as to how to put it together. Pretty simple. It comes with a pole, and it comes with the base. So all you have to do is screw that in. 
The other thing it comes with is a gravity ring. So this ring here, which is green, I kind of like the green. Oh see if you can see it, this green section here you can change that to black if you so desire however i'm quite happy with the green i think the green looks kind of cool so i'm not sure how much of this you can see but so far okay this i can lower and heighten to my standard so this is my vocal booth now my vocal booth it's not too heavy but the issue that i did have with the old mic stand was i couldn't actually attach this without the whole thing wanting to topple over and this is like not even like 100 grams it's so light so you always need to have a, a pop screen if you're going to be making some sorts of vocals uh, because we want to be able to you know stop those pops and those real sounds so behind here as you can see i've got my shore mic set up um, this is a condenser mic if you were interested um, and i've just got that set up very simply on top of the gravity mic stand now i'm just going to push this down all right now this is going to be a bit difficult because i am going to lift this up so long as i don't hit the roof i'm fine so as you can see here, we've got the base. Now the base has got this anti-slip um, green section as well. So the anti-slip, you can put that on any kind of flooring and it's not gonna slip. So at the moment, this room's got carpet in it. This is my studio. But if I wanted to go and play in a different arena, say like a, a hardwood floor or tiles or linoleum then i'd be able to do that and it would be non-slip so it would actually adhere to the floor so much better now the good thing about it is it does come with this clip this clip goes around the main part of the stand and that will hold your microphone leads in place now the easiest part here is is that if i want to lift it up and set it down I can lift this quite high and look I'm not that tall I'm probably about 170 centimeters and shrinking but if I wanted to this I can set up to any height so this gravity mic stand saying that it's sturdy I can lift it up as high as I need it to be and look I'm sitting at the moment I can lower that as well and if I wanted to do something from a seated position I'd be able to do this and it would be set up really nicely for me I usually don't sit when I'm singing I would normally be standing up so I can use my diaphragm to get right into anything that I'm trying to belt out but just saying that I could be sitting if I was sitting at my computer and I was just doing some vocoding and that would make it very easy for me but as I would be standing, as I said, it's very simple to just sort of lift up and then I could stand and do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, not an unboxing, but sort of like showing you how this microphone stand really works. As I said, I'm really enjoying this gravity microphone stand, the MS-23 um, with the circular base. As I said, at the moment, for me, it's the best one to be using for my vocals because I'm getting as close as I can to the actual stand um, and to my microphone. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please click down below, subscribe, share this around um, and let others know that this gravity mic stand is really good um, and I hope you're able to use it. Please let me know if, if you actually have this stand. Leave me a comment down the bottom and let me know how you use it. And not only that, let me also know if you've got like a vocal setup, how you have your vocal set up. You can even send me to your YouTube link if you've got one to show me what you've got because I'm always interested in seeing what other people have. So share, like, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Cheers for now. Catch you soon.